Hello, welcome to Midnight Messages. My name is Stacy, and today I will be doing a Taurus Collective reading. That is a reading for the Taurus Collective. If you didn't hear me because the cards got too loud. I got the new microphone. My voice is still doing its thing. But sometimes I think the cards are still too loud. I think I have fixed the glare issue with my light. I'm hoping. Because I like these cards. But not when they get all glary. What is going on with Taurus? Spirit, what do we have going on with Taurus? So I caught myself feeding my new baby kitties. And and it hurts when I shuffle now. <laughs> yes. And well, for right now anyway, it hurts when I shuffle. Oh, Taurus, you don't even know what's going on for you. Oh, my goodness. Taurus, why is the Queen of Pentacles here? For the Taurus. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Spirit, tell us why the Queen of Pentacles is here. I be hearing you. Of course, she is abundance. The chariot. Why is the chariot here? Why is the chariot here? Spirit, why is the chariot here? You might be fighting with someone about them projecting onto you. It just... Those two cards just kind of made themselves known. So you might be fighting with someone about um, their projecting Taurus. Or you might be projecting onto someone else and fight. That's causing fighting. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Well, four of Pentacles usually indicates shiciness but this is in the past so and it's in your spiritual section so ooh, that did not want to shuffle correctly at all Let's see why is the four of pentacles here spirit why Okay. Knight of Swords. Oh, Spirit, tell me why is the Knight of Swords here? Oh, Spirit, tell me why is the Knight of Swords here? What are they doing? Why does Taurus have the Knight of Swords in their reading? Oh, well, the okay. And the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords. Spirit, why is the Five of Swords here? Usually that denotes uh, uh, 
battle, but there is no clear winner or clear loser. And that is in the present, in your internal life. So. I don't know, Taurus. What are you thinking about internally where there is no clear winner or loser? Mm, that's just what you're experiencing right now, I guess. <laughs> You're experiencing that there is no clear winner or loser in this situation at this time for you internally, personally. Dummy. It makes sense. Why is the Hierophant here? Hierophant, 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 Hierophant. Mm-hmm. They do bring about some kind of spiritual changes. They do. Why? Ooh. Ooh. I just noticed something. So, in the future, in your reality, you have the emperor. But in your spiritual reality, you have the empress. I think you might be meeting your divine counterpart in the future. Your soulmate, your your twin soul bond. Yeah, you might be meeting them. Why is the emperor here, spirit? Why is the emperor here? I know I do an awful lot of shuffling. Um, sometimes I cut it, sometimes I don't. Tell me if you like the cutted, edited. Oh, well, yeah, the emperor is all about control. So that would make sense. All right. Why is the king of cups here? I mean, I feel like the person that is watching this video right now is more of a masculine energy. Um... I don't know why I'm feeling that, but I feel like you're the emperor and you're looking for your empress. Um, I hope you find your empress and it's looking like you might. Why is the king of cups here? Okay, yeah, you're coming into an awareness of your own ability to love Taurus See, this is an interesting, um, just, ooh, oh, oh, I see now, okay, so you're feeling a little guilty, a little sorrowful, if you will. See, because in the past, in your reality, you had a queen of pentacles. And you had abundance. But I don't think it was real. And then you had an adventure in, in, in you. You had a quick adventure. It was a fast-moving adventure. So, like, you started learning about yourself, and that was amazing for you to learn about your inner world. And you did it quickly. Like, you leveled up in your... This is, like, the 5D. This is the 3D, this is the 5D, and this is the spiritual realm. Okay? 
So, like, this is your logic, this is your heart, and this is your spirituality, like, your higher self. So, in the past, you went on a kind of a 5D adventure, learning all the ways that you could love yourself. And for you, Taurus, that's that's a good thing, because I know my Tauruses are about self-love. And then spiritually, you had... You kind of came into some wealth, but then you were kind of um, stingy. Stingy. Like Scrooge-ish with it. Yes. Um, now, for the present, let's start with the 3D. You have been having breakthroughs or epiphanies one after another after another recently. And if it's not, if it hasn't happened, it's going to happen like real soon. Like, like in a month soon, like in a week soon, tomorrow soon. It's going to happen very soon. We're going to have epiphany after epiphany, breakthrough after breakthrough. And it's going to happen in your 3D reality where your manifestations are going to start showing up. And it's going to be one after another after another. And logically, it may not make sense, but it does. Because you have been working so hard for these things in the background that it makes sense that these breakthroughs are happening in your reality now. So, in the 5D, it's looking like there are no clear winners or losers. So, it's like you're stepping into a territory of neutrality. And you're just there. You're just there to experience it. You're just there to vibe with it. You're just there to to feel it, to see it, to know it. There's no winner, there's no loser, there's no good, there's no bad. There just is. And that's where you are in the 5D right now. You're at the, there just is. It is what it is and then it ain't nothing else. That's where you're at in 5D. Now spiritually, your higher self, your higher self is currently stepping into the hierophant energy and changing your entire surroundings if you follow your higher self and you follow your your higher self's guidance your entire world is about to change like un how do i say it? unequivocally um your whole world is going to change. It's going to be so fast. It's almost like right now you're at the stage where the breakthroughs are happening. And those breakthroughs are going to lead you to immense rewards. So now in the future. In the 3D you have the emperor. And you have control. Which makes sense if you're having epiphany after epiphany. You would be stepping into your emperor or leader energy. And you might even be taking control of your 3D situation. That's great. Okay, Taurus. Great. Take control of your 3D situation. Be stable. Become. Step into that emperor energy. Become the leader that you know that you are meant to be. Because that's where you belong. Take control of the situation. You can only control your actions. You cannot control the actions of the world. You cannot control the actions of your neighbor. You cannot control the actions of your spouse. You can only control the actions of yourself. That's it. Stop trying to control other people. See, that's where you taking control of the situation. Well, that just means that you have taken control of your own emotional situation in order to manifest this amazing 
love and awareness that I see coming through in the 5D. Because the King of Cups is all about gentle love. And then you have awareness right here. And what I'm seeing is in the future, in the 5D, you're opening up to a gentle kind of love and awareness of unconditional love and awareness that it does exist um, and that you can have it. But here's where it gets a little a little interesting for me I guess you could say so in the future in the spiritual realm you're the empress but yet you have suppression but you stepped into the emperor spot up here so I'm thinking spiritually your counterpart is going to make themselves known but but because suppression is here, you may not or they may not be able to act on that spiritual connection right away. And that's okay because, hey, friends are friends, right? You can always be friends. And that's, that's what we're here to guide. We're here to guide. We're here to give funny little anecdotes um and things like that we're not here to judge we're not here to make people feel bad about themselves we're not here to create conflict and discontent and Taurus you guys love eating that's one of your things sensual pleasures I my Venus is in Taurus like Seriously, my Venus is in Taurus. I love food. I like have a, I have, like, I love food. So anyway, your intuitive guidance from the Awakening Intuition Oracle Deck and Guidebook. I am not going to read from the guidebook, but I will read the card. Consider third eye eating. Feed your psychic ability. Avoid foods and drinks that make you tired, spacey, cranky, or anxious. Emphasize nutrients that energize, calm, and center you. Healthy eating and consumption of vitamins, minerals, and other nutrients may greatly improve the quality of your intuitive hits and expand your intuitive capabilities in general. So maybe you want to look into the things that you're actually eating and see if they are hindering or helping your intuition. You can look that up. Google, YouTube, there's all kinds of videos on here. I'm sure someone has had this um this situation where they wanted to know what would be hindering their intuition, their psychic abilities, what foods. I'm sure you could look it up. So, here's the thing. All right. If you have stayed down for the ride and you caught my vibe and you want to be part of my tribe, Please subscribe, like, share, comment, do your thing. I appreciate you all. As always, I love you and peace.